Good afternoon and welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name is Michael and the date today is June 1st, 2022. Now, let's start off the show with a visit with our student meteorologist, Cole. Hello, Yorktown. I am your student meteorologist, Cole. It's right around 1 o'clock, and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing sunny skies. The current temperature is 88 degrees, and it appears to be a perfect day to play sports. Tonight, and leading into the early morning, you expect to see cloudy skies. As always, have a wonderful day, and now, let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for that update, Cole. Now let's put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Riley, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. What kind of streets do ghosts haunt? Dead ends. What kind of tree fits in your hand? A palm tree. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow, and until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Riley. And now for all the word lovers out there, we present to you the word of the day. Hi, my name is James, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is seed, C-E-D-E. -E. Seed is a verb. Seed is defined as to give up or surrender. In the sentence, seed could be used like this, Spain seeded territory in France. Seed, can you use it today? Thank you, kids. Now let's say the one of the students of MESMS. Hi, my name is Zach and I'm on Team E. Something I enjoy most about being a student is being able to talk and hang out with my friends. My favorite subject is math because I get to learn things I will use later in my future job. Some of my favorite hobbies outside of school are basketball, taekwondo, and biking. Three words that best describe me are smart, funny, and active. That's all about me, now let's take it back to the studio. Now let's go to Cole with the new episode of The Core Gamer everybody and welcome back to the core gamer today we're going to be playing a game called basket random okay so to get here you just have to type in unblock game 76 and then right here is basket random just click on that and you should get here now i'm going to be playing one player against a bot but you can play two player if you want to okay the first player if you're playing against a bot or just playing or just playing against another person you're in your player one you use w use the arrow key you only use one button for this so i'm using up arrow key and i'm sh so hold down the button and it shoots longer okay also the way you're jumping the way you're leaning and you press um and you press your arrow key or w is the way you jump okay so i'm so i'm shooting ha Cross court. Okay, now it also has different kind of rounds. So there's double point, there's snow. I just had a long arm. I made mean, that. Okay, so we have a heavy ball and short arms. That's not going to go well. And the boss scored on me. Okay, so now we are. So now we all have small heads. Okay. So short arm again. So I'm going to jump backwards to take a longer shot there. So I can so I can block like that. If you move, if you jump and move in front of the ball, it'll go to your hands and you can block it. Okay. So you're just gonna be. So I lost that one. So now it's snow and there's a very long heat, so it's very hard to block. So this one, it's good to. In my strategy, this one is just trying to get as close as possible because they can't they can't block on you. So just go. So just get as close as possible to the to the goal. Okay. So, well, I guess basket, as I call basket random. Okay. So this round is harder to get in because it's a very long hoop and it's very hard to even stand up straight. So they got the point there. So that makes it 3-3, okay? If you think I can win this game, leave a like on the video, okay? I blocked the shot there. I have the ball. I'm shooting. I missed. And it, it barely missed. Barely missed that shot. Okay, I'm shooting there. Okay, so I, we can't make it so, for some reason. Um. Okay, now we just scored. Four, it's four three. This is a very large shoot, so it's very easy to make it in. And I score it. Okay, that is basket random. Thanks for watching today's core gamer. And now let's take it back to the studio. 
Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Kaylana with lesson of the day. Good afternoon. My name is Kaylana, and today's lesson is from social studies. Today in social studies, we learned about Christopher Columbus. We learned that Columbus works for the royalty in Spain. Columbus is also from Italy. That's all for today's lesson. Now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, kids. Wisdom is usually gained after experience, so we were wondering, if you could go back to the first day of school and give yourself advice, what would it be? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. If I could go back to the first day of middle school, I would tell myself to focus and not worry. If I could tell myself something, it's to work hard. Um, the first thing I would do is tell myself to do my focus more. Yeah. Something I would tell myself is like to know your schedule so like you don't walk into like a random class. If I could go back to the first day of middle school and give myself advice, I would tell myself to not worry that much about school and to be happy. Um if I was going to go back to the first day of middle school, I would tell my past self to like not overthink things and just go with the flow. If I had to go back to middle school for the first day, I would tell myself to stay out of drama. If I could tell myself on my first day some advice, I'd say that only do your homework on Sundays, like the last day of the weekend, so you have enough time before that to do whatever you want to do, like play video games or go outside, stuff like that. If I were to go back to my first day of middle school and give myself advice, I would probably say not to be as worried as I was. If I can go back to the first day of middle school and tell myself some advice, I would tell myself to not worry about schoolwork as much. Here kids, have some bread. Stop her! Ah, mommy! I don't think... Thank you so much for saving me. No problem. Want to stay at my place? It's getting late. No, I'm good. I think I have to get home. Oh! Well, can you at least make my monkey a boo? Um, sure, but I really have to hurry. But what's your name? Uh, Princess Jasmine. Princess? I didn't say anything. What am I doing? Uh, well, I'm a lady. Bye-bye. Go on, you poor and fortunate souls. In Wrong movie. Oh, oops. Action. Where were you, Jasmine? Uh, I was walking Raja. Uh-huh. Wait, then where is Raja? I put her in the cage downstairs. Mm-hmm. We got rid of her cage a year ago. Um, well, she's probably outside, walking around. Uh-huh. I thought we said that it was a rule. You know what? I'm too tired for this. Go to bed! Oh, fine. You will pay for your actions, imposter! He didn't do anything Hush. wrong, Jasmine. He betrayed our kingdom. Now he will get the penalty of death! Yes. No! Kill him, Jafar. No! No! I still might need to find you a husband. No! Sire, may I thank you? Hey. Of course. Who do you want Jasmine to marry? Me. She will marry me. She will marry me. Oh, okay. Oh. Aladdin! Now you may kiss the bride. Nothing be Yorktown. My name is Sam, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place throughout history on this date, May 31st. On this date in the year 2009, Milvana Dean passed away. She was a known survivor on the Titanic. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on the one and only Milvana Dean. After surviving the Titanic, she and her family moved to the Southamptons. That's a look back in history for the date May 31st. Now let's take it to you back in the studio. What I do when I'm really confused, down, or angry about something, I just go outside and play some sports or whatever I do outside. When I feel really down, I go outside and play basketball. <laughs> when, I, when I get really confused about a situation, I go outside, take a break. When I'm confused about something, I can think about it really hard.
when I'm really down, confused, or angry about something is go to my parents and ask them for help or like my family members or just sit around and just think. When I'm down, confused, or angry about something, I go to my friends or family to help me cope with it. When I'm down, really confused, and angry, I go outside. I do. When I'm confused, angry, or down about myself, I would either talk about it to my parents or I go to my sister or a friend and they can help me with it. When I'm down and angry and confused about something, um, I probably go outside and play a sport. What I do when I'm confused, down, and sad is sleep. Hello, my name is Paige and today's true or false topic is space. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true and false. It takes 25 seconds for sunlight to reach Earth. False, it takes 8.4 minutes for sunlight to reach Earth. Approximately 90% of our galaxy might contain dark matter. True. It would take nine years to walk the Earth. True. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Hello everyone and welcome to our new segment called DIY. In today's segment, you're only gonna need your shoes, a pair of scissors, and a shoe box. The second step is to simply cut right along this line. The next step is the simplest part. All you gotta do is place your shoe box right there. Take one shoe, move this out a little bit. Take your other shoe and place it inside the box. Right there, kids, is your DIY shelf. The next step is really simple. This is an additional thing that you could do, but it really looks good if you add another. You gotta go like this, just add another one, like so, and place your shoes in again. And with the weight of the shoes, it'll balance perfectly. And right there, you have your DIY shoe shelf. You could just stack like five of them, and then it'll start tipping over. Trust me, I've tried. Thank you, kids. Thanks, kids. And now let's take it to Paige with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Paige, and today's true or false topic is space. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. It takes 25 seconds for sunlight to reach Earth. False. It takes 8.4 minutes for sunlight to reach Earth. It would take nine years to walk the Earth. True. Approximately 90% of our galaxy might contain dark matter. True. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. We want to thank everyone who contributed to today's show. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next episode. Until then, stay safe, responsible, and respectful. Have a great day.